Hey everyone, let's talk about problem solving. We've all been there, right? You hit a roadblock at work, a project snags, and suddenly you're knee deep in a problem. Some folks, myself included, sometimes like to analyze the situation, figure out what went wrong, and maybe even chase down some related issues. But other people, well, they're all about solutions. They see the problem and immediately start brainstorming ways to fix it and move on. There's definitely space for both approaches. But if you're leading a team, your folks need you to be their rock, their solutions finder. They expect you to be a solutions-oriented leader and have answers, not just dwell on the why of the problem. So how do you become that solutions-oriented leader? Well, it's not too difficult. So here are five traits that I've seen in amazing leaders over my 30 years of working with executive teams. Number one, they're future-focused. Great leaders don't get bogged down by the problem. They see it as a hurdle to clear and keep their eye on the finish line. Getting upset or assigning blame isn't helpful. Solutions-oriented leaders are all about building the future, not dwelling on the past. Number two, strategic thinkers. Imagine you're lost in the woods. Point A is where you are. Point B is where you need to be. A solutions-oriented leader is like a map app strategizing the best route to get there. They're all about finding the most efficient way to bridge the gap. Number three, excuses don't fly. Who cares who messed up? Solutions-oriented leaders are laser-focused on fixing the problem, not pointing fingers. They know excuses waste time and get nowhere. And number four, why versus what now? Sometimes your team might get stuck asking why this happened. A solutions-oriented leader gently steers the conversation towards what can we do now. While understanding the cause can be helpful, focusing on solutions gets you moving forward. And that's what we get paid for, focusing on solutions. And number five, collaboration is key. The best solutions often come from a team effort. Great leaders know this and leverage the brain power of their team. Brainstorming sessions and open communication are hallmarks of solutions-oriented leaders. So the next time you face a challenge at work, try this. Take a deep breath, shift your focus from the problem to the solution, and see if you could find a way to move forward. You might surprise yourself with your resourcefulness, and then you're going to be finding the solutions. And this video I'm telling you is based on my 30 years of experience working with executive teams. And if you'd like to learn more about solutions-oriented leadership, check out the resources below in the description. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. Until the next time, go out there and make it happen. To learn more about solutions-oriented leadership, please visit our website at rickgoodman.com or feel free to email me at info at rickgoodman.com and please subscribe to the Solutions-Oriented Leader on iTunes or your favorite podcast app.